Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Samson Williams here. Uh, as always, I'm uh, on my Darren Marble semi-stalking tip. And so, I was talking to Maureen Marat the other day and explaining uh, Darren Marble strategy here. It's my perspective on Darren. And like all good uh, super fans slash semi-stalkers, I don't actually talk to Darren about this. I'm just speculating and making it up. And so she was like, what? That is mind-blowing. And so she's, she, was, she didn't understand how Darren and his current venture of going public came to be about. And so I broke it down to her. So uh, many years ago, Darren founded a company called CrowdfundX. And CrowdfundX provided marketing services uh, to folks who were looking to doing investment crowdfunding. And CrowdfundX was later um, purchased by his other company, called issuance and issuance is software that allows uh, businesses to run their own reggae uh, crowdfunding uh, deals on their own platform collect their data etc and that makes sense if you're going to raise 20 to 30 million dollars you might as well have your own platform keep your data and engage your customers and then issuance turned around and formed crush capital rather darren turned around and formed crush capital and crush capital is in, is in that next generation way of engaging uh the crowd in investment crowdfunding. Crush Capital turned around and created the series going public. And so why this is important, one, this is just Darren's iterations, because you know, the hardest part of anyone's overnight success is the first 10 years. Why this is so important is because, and again, this is completely speculation on my part, Darren's not building uh, crowdfunding technology, right? It's like it exists. It's there because you know it's sort of like your electricity, your plumbing. It needs to exist so you can do a thing. And so, in 2016, when a uh, Reg CF was dropped, uh, became available or signed into law, everyone was like, "Oh my God, we're gonna go and we're gonna build this greatest technology in the world so we can democratize investing." Blah 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 blah. Sounds just like uh, the blockchain space. What Darren did, he was like, "Okay." You guys, hold on. Let me have a sip of my coffee. He went and built a marketing firm called CrowdfundX. He took that marketing firm, rolled it into issuance, which has technology that helps them do marketing. It helps individual businesses do marketing. And then rolled that into Crush Capital, who was like, okay, we're going to revolutionize, change, paradigm shift the IPO, the initial public offering. And as part of doing that, we're gonna create another vehicle to engage the crowd humans audience because crowdfunding particularly investment crowdfunding it actually works best with the crowd and so if you want to work best with the crowd how do you get the crowd to show up to your otherwise fancy tech that they should care zero about you create a tv show and this is where going public comes in and lauren simmons is going to absolutely crush it as host i so get it there's no stories more compelling than the drama the intrigue the heartache the pain of being a founder, being a startup, of starting your business, of pursuing the entrepreneurial dream. And so I was telling this to Maureen in a little bit more detail because we, you know, I love Darren's rocket ship and I'd love to put gas in it or get a seat on it. Uh, hashtag hire me. And so why this is important is for a couple of reasons. By the end of the decade in 2030, when going public is crushing it right it's going to be like shark tank on steroids shark tank on methamphetamines exponential growth hockey stick curve people aren't going to realize that darren's and todd's overnight success you know happened about 10 years ago here in 2020 so that's my morning rant uh, about going public crush capital darren marble and todd and i really hope you guys tune in follow their adventures because on one side there are so many different uh technologies or not technologies there's so many patent opportunities in the process of having people watch a television show and invest so i wrote it out on my whiteboard again i haven't talked to darren about this this is just what i'm speculating about and i was like that's a revenue point that's a revenue point that's a revenue point that's a revenue point because there is some tech that's like novel unique it might have some patents but at the end of the day if you're thinking about having an investment crowdfunding platform the tech is really simple the crowd is the hard part because investment crowdfunding works best with the crowd so that's it for my morning rant i'm gonna go back to actually jogging hope you have a beautiful day peace